Deep learning is so successful today because it can learn from big data. Datasets like ImageNet have been crucial in achieving human-level accuracy in object recognition tasks. Deep learning success stories are predicated on easy access to big data, in particular, big labeled data. However, data can be expensive or slow to obtain. What do we do then? Neural networks can learn hierarchical representations from data. Can we train on an alternative dataset to develop hierarchically related representations for a task that we want to predict? For example, instead of training on the object's name in ImageNet, what if we trained on its color or texture? Can the network learn that trees are almost always green and animals have fur? Representations to learn color and texture can be useful, since these concepts are correlated to the object's name. Here at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, we perform research in physical sciences to find solutions to our nation's toughest challenges in energy resiliency. Like many other problems in science, we need scientists, equipment, and supplies to get our labels. Therefore, acquiring large labeled datasets is tough. Amazon Turk is not going to work for us. In the chemistry industry, chemical design is a big challenge. For example, designing drugs with the right toxicity and activity properties on average takes 10 years. Here are some properties that we are interested in predicting. As you can see, it's not a lot of data to work with. A neural network with randomly initialized weights is like a blank slate, which needs to learn representations about the data it ingests. How do we train it to learn representations about chemistry when we don't have much labeled data? Thankfully, there's been a lot of research going on in chemistry. Using rule-based models like RDKit, we can compute expert designed features, which are important building blocks that chemists use to explain more sophisticated chemical properties. In our work, these computed features are the alternative labels for training our model. Basically, we're trying to develop a GoogleNet or ResNet for chemistry researchers. But in our case, ChemNet comes pre-trained with representations for chemistry. By using this syllabus of an alternatively labeled large chemical database, ChemNet learns basic chemical concepts that we expect will be generalizable and relevant for modeling more sophisticated chemical properties. Using the Chemception CNN model as the baseline, we fine-tuned ChemNet on several unseen chemical properties. Not only does it outperform in every property tested, we did this without using any additional labeled data or any modification to the neural network architecture. Coming back to you, how can we apply what we've learned for your research domain? Well, start with the rule-based models that you know of and think about how you can develop a dataset syllabus to train a network relevant to your domain space. Then you can train a ChemNet of your own. <laughs>